I know I try to get you excited on all of my full PC gaming setup guides, but I'm not exaggerating on this one. This is literally the best budget full PC gaming setup guide that I've ever done before. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. As you know, usually in these setup guides, I'm all about finding the latest releases for gaming products and peripherals. And because of that, sometimes we get products in these videos that just aren't all that great. I think it's fun to test the new products that just launched to show them off, but this means that I don't sometimes actually recommend the products that I show in these videos. For today's video though, I'm flipping the script as all of these products here are from previous setup guides from like six months ago or so. So these are literally the best of the best peripherals that I currently recommend. Not only that, but I'm also going to be showing you some higher end alternatives as well, just in case you aren't on a super tight budget like some of us are. So if you're in the market for some baller peripherals, don't go anywhere. Before we get started though, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by MMORC.com, a key reseller website that I teamed up with because they're offering the cheapest Windows 10 keys that I've seen so far, as well as a ton of other software keys. MMORC is offering you guys a super exclusive sale on the Windows 10 keys. Click that first link in the description and select add to cart, click place order, paste in the exclusive AF coupon code ZAH35, and then I'll give you a massive 35% discount dropping the price to under $10. After that, select your payment method and complete your order. Once you get the key, click start on your PC and type in activate, press enter, change product key, paste in the key, and there you go, activated Windows 10 for less than 10 bucks. Once again, feel free to head down to the links in the description and use that exclusive 35% off coupon code ZAH35. All right, so jumping straight into this. I don't even know where to begin to be honest because I love every single one of these parts this time, but I think we'll start with the mouse because this may just be the best value play that I've ever done in one of these videos. This here is the Pictech Ultralight RGB gaming mouse and I explained in the original setup video that literally as soon as I started using this, I was completely blown away. Links to this mouse and everything I talk about are down in the description by the way. This costs just $21 brand new on Amazon. It's rocking six DPI levels from 1200 to 10,000 and the total weight comes in at just 70 grams. I'm usually against every single $20 mouse because they all seem to have that same exact laggy and delayed sensor, but no man, this sensor in here is an absolute rock star for the price. I have so much accuracy when using this mouse, it's almost completely unfair to the competition. So like I said in the intro of this video, I do want to show you guys some higher end alternatives for those of you that aren't just interested in a $20 Pictech mouse. So this here is the Razer Naga Pro, and this has been my personal daily driver for a while now. Now this is obviously in a completely different different weight class than the $20 Pick Tech, but I'm just absolutely in love with this mouse and I needed to get this in front of the camera for you guys. The Naga Pro is all about customization as it comes with three different side panels depending on what game you're playing. There's the two button option with extra grip on the side for first person shooters, the 12 button option for MMOs like World of Warcraft, and there's even a six button option for MOBA type games. I personally leave the MMO and FPS options always on my desk and flip flop between them. The MMO panel is great for things like video editing too, but the sensor that's in here is definitely great for all types of gaming as well. Moving past the mouse though, we get to the keyboard and now this is also one of my career best value plays in all of my ZTT videos. This is the $50 Techware Phantom L Low Profile and I've been seriously using this every single day for like six months now. These can be rocking Automa blue or red switches. It has this super low profile design which makes me feel like I'm typing faster than normal and the metal build quality of it is rock solid for the price. There's also a detachable USB-C cable at the top so you can swap it out to something custom and I should probably add actually buy a nice looking cable so I can show you guys every time I mention this feature in these videos. Going back to the switches real quickly, as you can see the actuation distance is only 1.2 millimeters instead of the traditional 2.2 millimeters and this is why it feels so fast to type on and I personally just feel like it's so much more responsive. Going back to a traditional height keyboard almost feels laggy to me at this point and if you haven't jumped into the world of low profile switches, I definitely recommend you giving that a try. Next up we get to the monitor and this one I literally just featured a couple of weeks ago. This is the Viotech GF. V22CB, which usually sits on Amazon for around $130. That's an incredible price for a 22 inch 1080p 144 hertz G Sync and FreeSync compatible monitor, although it is rocking a somewhat less than impressive 5 millisecond response time. I personally have always argued that 5 milliseconds is perfectly fine, just for the record. If you have the skills, or honestly just aren't an eSport pro, you shouldn't have any problem slaying the noobs like I do with this monitor. Now, unfortunately, when I made this video, it was in and out of stock, so I definitely wanted to throw out a little bit higher 
higher end alternative. This is the AOC C24 G1A, and this recently used to be regarded as one of the best 1080p higher refresh rate monitors on the market. It's recently been replaced by the G2 version, but this G1A has still been popping up on Amazon for around $145, but you do need to be quick with it as it sells out very fast, even still here in 2021. The C24 G1A is a 24 inch 1080p 1500 R curved VA one millisecond panel with a very nice refresh rate of 165 Hertz. It also has free sync compatibility. And this is certainly one of those options that you eSport pros can use out there if you're on a tighter budget. The stand is also really great for the price with a ton of flexibility. There's a vase amount in the back if you wanted to swap it out there. And I also personally really like the red and black color scheme too, but that's obviously subjective. This is definitely one of the monitors to buy right now. And if you're looking to scoop one up or honestly like any monitor at a really great price, you should definitely join our ZTT Discord server. We have an entire ZTT deals dedicated channel where our deals god Dr. Zoomer posts all of the best PC hardware deals and you can simply turn on notifications for just his postings. A ton of us have been saving literally hundreds of dollars from him and this is exactly what I would recommend doing if you're parting together your own full PC gaming setup right now. Moving on we get to the headset and this here is the Razer Black Shark V2X which I honestly think was kind of slept on in late 2020. For $60 this turned out to be a fantastic headset for the price and the microphone quality is pretty great on it as well. The Black Shark V2Xs have this old school style ear defender ear cups that create a ridiculous seal so you can't hear anything in your life other than the game you're currently playing. The 50 millimeter drivers are definitely bumping and I personally like how there's a volume dial and not a wheel on the side as well. I'm not a huge fan that it's sporting this razor green cable as this does not work at all if you're using a green screen setup but other than that this has been a very solid price to performance gaming headset. If you're looking to spend even more money I got you covered and by more money I mean a lot more money but I'm showing this one off because over on my Twitch live streams you guys are always asking me about this. I stream over on twitch.tv slash zaxtechturf every Tuesday and Thursday by the way and during our PC Building Thirsty Thursday live streams these Audio Technica ATH G1WLs are my go-to headset of choice. These currently cost over $200 on Amazon but I have seen them go on sale before but these have honestly probably the highest quality wireless microphone on the entire market right now. These are also super comfy to wear and have amazing audio quality as you would expect from this brand but honestly the reason why I keep using them is definitely the quality of this microphone. And then next up before we finally get to the gaming PC we have the mouse pad and because this is such a subjective item I don't want to spend a ton of time on it. This is simply an all black extended mouse pad from Vic T Sync. It's got a pretty dope logo in the upper left hand corner and in my opinion this is the perfect size mouse pad for rocking a 10 keyless keyboard and mouse like we have here today. And then just like always to wrap up these full PC gaming setup guides we have the gaming PC and this should look familiar to you at least hopefully it does as I have an entire dedicated video on this guy. This here is one of my recent $350 gaming PCs that's rocking a combination of new and used parts and this can certainly be repeated even during today's tough market. I'm not going to rattle off the entire parts list because I do have that dedicated video but for a quick rundown it's rocking an Intel i3-9100F which you can find for cheap, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and the graphics card is a used RX 470. It's obviously rocking a couple aesthetic choices as well and it's honestly one of my favorite looking budget build guides that I've ever done before. For some very quick benchmarks it's running Fortnite in 1080p Pro settings at 195 FPS, Call of Duty Cold War in 1080p low settings with 96 FPS, Valorant in 1080p medium settings got 197 FPS, and even the incredibly demanding Assassin's Creed Valhalla in 1080p low settings got just under 60 FPS. Now obviously if you're parting together your own full PC gaming setup guide, I would recommend watching a ton of other videos and not just this one. Feel free to click the video that's on the screen now and that should help you out with that. But just like always, I hope you enjoyed this video.